Hello, Cobrats, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. I am Tracklight Tamer. Last episode, we explored around Violet City a lot and did a good deal of things. That glance is intriguing. Your glance is pretty intriguing, Roland. Hmm, this is disappointing. What, if it went from intriguing to disappointing? Is it disappointing that you lost and that I won? Hey, at least it's nighttime in the game, so that's cool, and there's also a train I didn't battle down there. I just came down here because there's a great ball right here. Alright, here's this other fisherman. My Pokemon, freshly caught. Fisherman Henry. Splash. Splash, yes, yeah, splash indeed, my good sir. Alright, let's get down, down here. Down down here. I don't know why I was, like, do the weird talks. I'm really good at fishing, but I'm even better at Pokemon. Let me just see. Still better than Bieber, and he's rough, rough, and he tried to rush things. But still, better than Bieber. And... Don't teach me in the arse of the fishing by adding me on a spoon. Ugh, he's really a younger friend. Maybe he's not all that much better than Beaver. And yet another kid. I'm getting helper a few levels above Charlie. Youngster Gordon. Mmm, sucks. I thought I could win. I'm like a redneck New Yorker or something. I don't even have that much of a New York voice. It is a TM09 bullet seed. Which I didn't even teach it to Chick Rita and Soul Silver. Alright, here's this fat man. Go to have this tasty, nutritious slowboat tail. It's yours now just for a million poker dollars. No, I can hold one, two less, and there's like nothing behind there. I think in Crystal there was like a hidden grape ball there. And into this Pokemon Pokemon centers on a route. Bonjour, how are you? Are you how are you picking apricorns? Yeah, I am. Where do you go, little apricorn collector? If it's a great, I'm gonna give you this. We got lure balls. Yeah, yeah. You can use these to catch a. Uh, Water Pokemon, or at least was when you go fishing. Alright, go to Hazelia Town. A man called Kurt can make special Pokeballs out of Apricorns. Apricorns rule, yeah! Serious group of fishing, look at all these people fishing. Did you really want to try fishing too? Yes, I want to do fishing. Yes, I like your rod. I got a very old rod, which is all it's good for is catching Magikarp, but oh well. I guess it's good enough. And that's how you do fishing. It's pretty easy, but I'm not really going to bother since it's just for Magikarps. Should I make my Pokemon hold? Maybe not, and that increases its attack power. Sounds like a good idea. And also, the this little under stairs, under stairs, yeah, downstairs area. Hello, right this way, please. Hello, I'm glad to meet you. My name is Tila, and I'm your guide to the Pokemon Wi-Fi Club. First, I need to give you this. It's the Pal Pad. Yay! I'm not even going to use it. That's your Pal Pad. You may register your friends in it. Once registered, you may link with those friends over Wi-Fi to. Trade and battle and stuff like that. I don't need to know how to register friends or anything like that. So I'm not going to bother anymore of that. I'm just going to heal up and then move on. And another thing I've decided as of recent, I'm not going to bother catching every single Pokemon. Because just like in Leaf Green, it's pretty much all you get is like a little certificate thing. And a congratulation and stuff. That bad, just from Pilot City, you beat Faulkner? Yes I did. Peter, I know what my weaknesses are. Right below Peter, we can smash that rock right there, and oh wow, no Pokemon or anything, and no items, and get the item right here, with there's a shell bell. But I'm not gonna put it on, because it's, uh, it's a hold item that heals your HP, and it takes a while for your Pokemon to, like, munch on it or whatever, and heal very, very slowly. I think it's like you heal, like, an 8th HP or maybe a 16th. I'm pretty sure it's leftovers that get you, uh, what, an 8th, because they're better. And there is a hidden Great Ball right here. Don't deny it, game. There we go. Took me a while to find it. I thought I was like looking around like every nook and cranny of that little above area right there. But anyway, into Union Cave we go. Uh, am I good with repels? I haven't seemed to be running into Pokemon, so. Or maybe my repel just ran out. Or, I don't know. That's weird. So here's the next attack, which is good, good, good. And there's the Pokemans. Alright, let's go above the Pokeball thing. And there's this guy. If there's light, a cave is scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. Fire Breather Ray. There's some weirdo people that have their shirts halfway off and they're like, Yo, let me put gasoline in my mouth and then light a lighter and hopefully I won't catch on fire. Hopefully I'll breathe it. So this is Union Cave. Tomorrow's Friday and something happens on Fridays in this place, but can't even do it uh, this early on in the game anyway because... We do not have a certain ability that allows us to do crop. Uh, for now I'm just going to scour around for items. Not even looking at my list very much because uh, it's kind of behind my 3DS. I'm like holding up my 3DS in a very awkward position. 
because I don't want to risk moving around too much and having it unplug and then the FPS spike down all of a sudden. So there's only a couple items for us to get in the basement floor right here, and here we have a hiker. They uh, often carry rock types, which is why I have rock smash on helper. Whoa, what a surprise! I didn't expect to see one in here. Hiker Daniel is taking the dark descent into the Union Cave, and he's taking a very hard beating. Maybe I'm going to curse him with the shadow. Anyway, that's enough uh, amnesia talk. Headed to Azalea, are you? Let my Pokemon see if you're good enough to battle. Helping hand, it's not very useful. It's only if good for, like, double battles and I don't really like using moves that benefit double battles much. Hiker Russell is very Russell Russell Russells. I don't know, huh? Uh yeah, I can just slide through there. I was trying to make good use of time, making sure that there's no items. Okay, yes, I knew the hidden great ball was in an awkward position on the wall. It's not really an awkward position, it's in between two rocks and one rock is bigger. It's not even between two rocks, but it is between the two rocks. Uh, I think you kind of get my point, but anyway, another fire breather about su that supersonic, confusing his poker mans. That was kind of a quick miss fest for the both of us. He flamed out, he accidentally breathed at the wrong time, or like spat gasoline. That's where people are stupid doing things like that. We're getting a lot of great balls. Alright, right here is a hidden parlor And over her... There should be this right here, which is a Postayan. This kid is a Pokemaniac. I remember far and wide to search a Pokemon. I got a Pokemon tail. Then you're making like a movie. Pokemaniac Larry, and he doesn't even look like any Pokemon. He looks like a green onyx that's like really mutated and turned into leather form. Uh, it wouldn't be something to be a maniac about, really. And I need more repel. I'm hopefully. We'll be going around a little bit more. Okay, there's the ice right there. I can handle running into one Pokemon, I suppose, with these couple of steps. And nope, no Pokemon, yay! I would rather it not happen anyway. There's a couple of Apricorns to get here in this really rainy route. What's this girl say? Pant, pant! I finally got through that cave. Well, it was much bigger than I expected. Oh, come on, it's only like 30 steps, literally. And another hiker. Is he complaining? He gave us all plenty of energy left. See, that's a good kind of person. Hiker Anthony, you got more zip than me. Zip, zop, zoop, but he's, uh, he's a hiker and he looks kind of like a white Bill Cosby. He's going to add me in his phone. He can actually be pretty good by lure throughout the game. Move along, move along. Into Azalea Town. Oh boy. Who are you? You don't know us? We are. Team Rocket. What? We broke up a while ago? Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once. We did... We have to come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. Thud. Beat it. Beat it. Thud. Beat it. Thud. Beat it. Beat it. Thud. Nothing is going on. It's not safe to go here, so I'm standing guard to make sure people don't wonder it. Am I not a good Samaritan? Slowpoke well, also known as the rain maker well, the uh, yawn summons the rain and the other route it doesn't even rain in this town anyway. Uh, so, people are talking about how the slowpoke have disappeared, and let's get a hidden full heal right here. Uh, let's go over here to the gym, and there's a Team Rocket guy guarding it. So, there's not really anywhere else to go, and other than get a call from Youngster Joey. Other than this house right here, which will have something kind of important, an important guy right here. Who are you? T2, eh? You want me to make some balls? Uh, sorry, but you'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Oh, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil game that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm going to give them a lesson and bang. Hang on, Slowpoke, old Kurt is on his way. You heard about that guy from someone else. Grandpa's gone, I'm so lonely. He's been gone for literally .25 seconds. Oh well, I guess we might as well go catch up with him. And the t other Team Rocket guy is away, so let's go down the slopes and into the hole of the well of the slope folks and Rainmakers, and there's a slope folk in the eye catch. So how are you, Kurt? Hey there, T2, the guard up top took off when I shot at him, but I took a tumble down the well. I sent him down hard on my back so I can't move. Rats, if I were fit, my Pokemon would have punched them. You just send them out and they can, you just tell them to go beat the crap out of them yourselves. You don't have to be like, whatever Pokemon, use whatever attack. I don't really know what Pokemon he has. I think he has like, I don't know, I want to say like he has like a Machoke in the anime, but I don't even remember. Maybe he has a Red Kate. I don't even remember if he does have Pokemon. Maybe a Slowpoke. 
I really do not remember. Uh, I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. We startled me so much that I fell down here. How about I bet my anger take it out on you? We seem to be standing up quite well, and so does Kurt. So, this is a Team Rocket member. He seems to be kind of limp, but that's just pretty much how they are. And they have some pretty rockin' music. I really like the Team Rocket music tonight. I was planning to use Rock Smash instead of Quick Attack, but maybe a Quick Attack or two will take him down. Oop, just a Quick Attack, and maybe if I can level up with this next one, I can be able to, like, set in stone that I'm going to take him out. Hmm, let's see. Let's just see if this Quick Attack will take him down. Maybe I should have used uh, Fury Swipes to maybe get it just right, but oh well, got it just right anyway. And Helper is going to level 18, and hopefully it'll get a little bit better than one. Oh, only one game. In the last level, it did gain two, but... Oh well. It's not your day. I would say that. You lost the battle, and you got hurted, huh? What a baby. Alright, are there any hidden items? No? No? No hidden items anywhere? Well, there is this item right here. Here's a super potion, and that guy looks important with his bluish-green hair. And believe it or not, but this is a girl. Oh boy. Stop taking slowpoke tails. Why you want us to display a direct order from Executive Proton? If you want to stop us, you'll have to defeat us all. Go ahead and try. Well, I tried and I did, so sit your ass down. You rotten brat. Well, we had a Pokemon battle, and that decides your fate. Is there anything hidden right here? No? Uh, but there's something in right here. Yep, a super potion. We're getting in the upgraded items around here. I even got a hyper potion that I didn't even make note of in the last episode. So, here's this guy. Let's battle him. Quit taking slowpoke tails. Who was the new team rest? rep would be ruined? He said pretty much the same thing, which just kind of shortened down. I like how he uses the word rep instead of reputation. Just too strong. Bitch, shut up. I, I one-shotted all your Pokemon with just quick attack. Here's a slowpoke with his tail cut off. As male. Okay, let's read it. Be good and look after the house with Grandpa and Slowpoke. Love, Dad. Hey, yo, Dad! A Slowpoke with his tail cut off, and he doesn't have mail. This is Proton, what do we have here? I'm often labeled as the scariest and cruelest guy in Team Rocket. I strongly urge you not to interfere with our business. And then, he's going to be all like, Yo, I made an L sign with my right hand, so I'm kind of facing backwards. Like, sorry, I'm kind of peeing on spot. Uh, we can have a Pokemon battle while I do pee. And I should be able to one-shot his Zuba and possibly his Rattata too, since that's his next Pokemon. Uh, I think it might be slightly over-leveled, but not quite over-leveled for the gym, which is going to be happening in the next episode. So, while I segue into the outro, I am going to use another Quick Attack. Actually, I'm not going to end it quite yet, but yeah, it's going to take a couple of Quick Attacks to take down the Coughing. And it's using Poison Gas, which is a... Uh, auto poison kind of move except it's kind of inaccurate so let's uh, use my final fury swipes with the amount of PP it has and hopefully it should be enough to take out this coughing if it hits enough times come on a couple more times okay three times so a quick attack should take it out smog doesn't look too much since I'm already poisoned and not much happens from it anyway although we're good a HP happened uh, yeah I'm interfering with your plans but I'm a good guy you're a bad guy so, you know how it works. I win, you lose. Good day, sir. For a kid to be this good, I didn't see it coming. Oh, come on. This is the Pokemon world. Kids are Pokemon trainers. Team Rocket was indeed broken up three years ago, but we continue our activities underground. A small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you to be very afraid of what has come. Alright, so here comes Kurt. Way to go, T2. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better, too. Let's get out of here. Can't do anything about that little round rock just yet, so... We're all good with the Slowpoke well for now. Hi, T2. You handle yourself like a real hero. As I mentioned before, Team Rocket was defended by a boy called Red three years ago. Now that they have come back, I have a bad feeling about it. In any case, it would please me greatly to make Pokeballs for a trainer like you, T2. That's all I have now, but take it. And we got a Fastball, which is good for catching a... Fast Pokemon. You have Apricorns for me? Fine, I'll turn them into Pokeballs. So you can use Apricorns of certain colors to turn them into certain types of Pokeballs. How about I use a black Apricorn, just one? Given that, I have five uh, green ones, I think. I'll take a day to make your Pokeballs to so come back for it later. But I'm not going to do that in this episode, and she's giving me her grandpa's number. 
And I say we're pretty good. We got here to Azalea Town. We brought out Team Rocket. Explored the Union Cave a little bit as well. And uh, Helper is poisoned. I shall take you to the Pokemon Center. In the next episode of Pokemon Heart Gold, we shall challenge the gym here in Azalea Town with Team Rocket out of the way. Don't you then do not touch yourself.